Hey folks, and welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. Today you're going to learn how to do this simple bar graph animation in After Effects. Let's get started. As you can see, I already have a composition open. It's 1920 by 1080, and I have a purple solid here as the background. Let's start off by making sure that the rectangle tool is selected here. We're going to adjust some of these settings here. Go ahead and click Fill, and we're going to click None and press OK. And we're going to adjust the stroke. We're going to add a fill here. Press OK. And we want to change the stroke value to 35. You can also select this to change the color. But I'm going to stick with the white today. Now go ahead and click and drag on screen. I'm going to make this rectangle shape here. Once you're happy with how that looks, just go ahead and align this on the screen this is what I'm going to use as the base of the bar graph. I'm going to rename this shape layer as base. And I'm going to lock it because I want it to stay in place. I don't want to move it at all. Now let's start creating the bars. So again, make sure the shape layer tool is selected. We're going to adjust these settings again. This time we're going to click solid color for the fill layer. And we're going to take away the stroke. Now let's start off by drawing our first bar. Now make sure you like the shape of this because we're just going to duplicate the same bar four more times. I'm happy with that so I'll let go of my cursor here and I'm going to change the layer name to bar 1. With the layer selected, click Command C, Command V. You'll see that it duplicated the layer and automatically named the next one bar 2. Hit P for position and go ahead and move it over. You're going to do this three more times. Okay, now I'm just going to make sure that they're all evenly spaced out on the bar graph. I'm going to hold down shift and just select all of these layers here. I'm going to hit P. I'm going to move it down so that it is more centered on the screen here. Now a typical bar graph does not look like this. They're usually at different heights. So go ahead and adjust the height of each bar by hitting P and just adjusting the height here. Now zoom in on your timeline here at around 10 frames. We're going to make a keyframe for all of the layers. So again, just select one layer, hold down shift, and then select all of the layers here. We're going to hit a keyframe for position. And you see that a position keyframe has been made for all of the layers. And we're going to bring it to the beginning here. And we're going to adjust each one so it starts from off the screen. So hitting bar one, I'm going to drag the height so it goes down here. And I'm going to do the same with bar 2, bar 3, bar 4, bar 5. And you see that it makes a keyframe where I had moved the position. So let's take a look at how this looks so far. Okay, now that we have them coming off the screen, we are going to have them stagger a little bit. Let's move our cursor to the halfway point here. And we're just going to drag these keyframes and drag it to the middle. Go here, drag these keyframes and bring it to the middle. We're just staggering the keyframes so that they don't go up all at once. So it should look something like this. Now let's watch it. That's pretty good, but let's smooth it out a bit. Go ahead and highlight these keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. The great thing is, is that you can change the length of these animations by highlighting the keyframes, holding down option, and just dragging it out. So if you wanted it to be slower, you would drag it out further. If you wanted it to be faster, you drag it out closer. I'm going to drag it out right here. 
Great, that looks really smooth. Only thing that's a bit distracting is that you can see them coming out of the bottom here. And that's no good. So make sure you're happy with how the animation looks. And then we're just gonna add that final touch. We're going to make sure all of these bars are selected here. Right click, pre-compose. And I'm just gonna call this the bar nest. Press okay. And you can see that all the bars got nested into one sequence. Make sure the bar nest is selected. Make sure the rectangle tool is selected. And we're just gonna create a mask by just clicking and dragging over this base so that anything extra will be masked out. So let's give it one more look. And there you have it folks, a simple bar graph animation. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the You Want Pathaz channel for more Adobe tutorials. Have a great rest of your day folks.